kitchen one more time with Chef Ricardo cooking program guys we are always in the kitchen to give you your favorite dishes I know you love the food please leave your comments if you like the recipe subscribe to the YouTube channel thank you so much but today we want to say to you we make you some lovely quiche this is just tomato and cheese quiche guys as I said before in the video you can get the pastry at the local shop to buy and all you have to do is come and roll it out very easy but if you want me to make the pastry for you I can do it also but to make life a little bit more easier just to show you or you can get a pastry at a local shop to buy or the big supermarket wherever you live local you can get a pastry in the supermarket to buy all you need to do is just ask for pastry you know to like to make quiche or if you want to make something different you can ask for that key kind of pastry so guys hopefully you like the recipe subscribe to the channel as i said before um for you to make it the pastry at home basically gonna need a cup of flour and quarter cups of butter and half cups of water and all you need to do is simple roll up it and you can also put a pinch of salt if you do like unsalted butter but if you want me to make the pastry please write it below and I will definitely make another quiche very soon and make the pastry for you so enjoy the recipe subscribe to the channel and get a copy of my cooking book on Amazon the price won't change guys 50% off the moment and remember there's a lot of people buying the book and a lot of people been leaving the comments so get your copy and thank you so much and see you let's come back All again right. one more time with chef record cooking program well today I want to show you how you can make yourself a tomato quiche at home but the only thing guys to be honest with you I buy the pastry at the local supermarket today this is the pastry this is how the pastry look very easy and simple you can make it also if you want me to make it I can make the pastry but I'm just want to simply say to you this is just flour sugar fl no, sorry flour water and butter to make the pastry so what I want to say is I buy the pastry today at the supermarket and I want to make you a nice lovely tomato and cheese quiche today enjoy the recipe so first of all what we're gonna do I have some plain flour I'm just gonna simply put a little bit of plain flour on the surface and simple get my rolling pin and rub a little bit of flour on the rolling pin take my little time and simply roll it up like this as you can see Really nice and simple, easy to make, such a nice, lovely quiche like this. But this is my panoche I'm gonna use for my quiche. As you can see, this is a home bake tray. surface because I want you guys to see exactly what I'm doing right here. So just take a little time, no rush and simple roll of the pastry like this. Nice one. So next thing Wrap the pastry over the board, over the rolling pin, and fold it like this. Lovely. Then get your baking tray. This is the baking tray which you're gonna use. Take a little time and simple. Fold it over like this. So make sure
see all the edges just to get the shape of the pad on the inside um, in the meantime preheat your oven use a knife and simply cut off the edges some pieces and then simple let's use a finger and squeeze it in just to get the shape of the pan guys nice one. the next thing get a piece of a grease proof paper like this if you got some old rice or Old pasta, the simple pouring like this. So, this is my rice right now. I'm gonna use for my stuff when I'm baking like quiche. That's one paper, a little bit too big and simple. Cut off a little piece on the outside. I use the scissors. And the same Shape it up like this. Um, the pastry, as I said before, you can get it at any local shop to buy guys seriously you can get the pastry at any local shop you can use either rice or pasta to hold on the paper guys, I, love this. I just take it from the oven and basically I want you to see how it look when you take it from the oven very hot be careful so what I'm gonna simply do is take up my paper with the rice you can use the oil on it lovely and nice a few grain get away from it guys that's the only thing I don't like you have to be careful when you are doing this because sometimes there is rice can get away inside but as you can see how the pastry look that mean to show you the pastry almost cooked so i'm just gonna simple i was gonna put it back inside of the oven but there's no need for me to put it back inside of the oven because the pastry cook as you can see i don't need to cook it anymore so what i'm gonna simply do is to try and get rid of the rice and the inside which I don't want to paste it to be broken so there's a few grain get away from the inside but that's fine but I just want to simply show you how the pastry would look this is how the pastry look guys as you can see very easy and simple um, basically as I say you can do this at home as you can see um, now what we're gonna do we're gonna do the filling for it lovely and nice put that at the side um, then what we're gonna do I'm gonna get the filling ready for it so first of all you have to make sure you got cheese and tomato and egg all right that's one of the main thing you need to do so i'm gonna get my filling ready first nice and lovely so guys know what we're gonna do we're gonna simply make the i'm gonna get some egg and get my egg we stop now so first of all let's go into business time is running one this is the first egg it's one of the egg 
and then two that's two egg that's a piece of three four egg will be enough I'm gonna use four egg and then um half cups of milk I put a cup of milk inside of it nice and lovely and then I'm gonna put a little bit of coarse pepper cracked pepper And then I give it a whisk. The best to use inside of this is some cream. I love cream when I'm making quiche. I just love to use cream. It just the cream, where the cream does just give it a, a different kind of flavor, a different look, everything. And so I love to use cream. So I'm just whisking this for about a second. Lovely. Put this at the side. That's finished. Get your quiche, your pastry. Sorry. Simple. Put some cheese at the bottom. I'm using some strong mature cheese. You can get this at any local shop, supermarket. To buy. Lovely. Um, the next now, tomato. Cause a tomato quiche we are making. Remember, as I said before, you can get the pastry to buy at local shop, supermarket. So, if you see I make my quiche and you ask me where I get the pastry, remember I told you before. You can get it at the local shop or supermarket and add your egg and milk inside of it just like this nice and lovely so as you can see exactly what I'm doing at the moment guys now I'm gonna put this inside of the oven for it to bake for another 20 minutes until I see you get that lovely setting color and top I know I could just put the rest probably through the wall yeah no, the, the rest wall so the one cup of milk and the four egg did work for this quiche so as you can see I'm making you a nice lovely tomato and cheese quiche and I'm gonna put it in the oven. Yes, mark seven. If you use a different kind of oven, 165 is good for 20 to 25 minutes inside of the oven. Enjoy the recipe. Subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. Request your kind of quiche that you want me to make for you in the next 24 hours. Bye bye. Lovely and nice. I just take it from the oven, guys. As you can see, really hot. And this is. The lovely quiche. Oh, what are you doing, man? <laughs> I want to dead to that. All right, guys. As you can see, I just take it from the oven, and that's all the quiche. Look, guys, really lovely and nice, simple as you can see. Basically, all you need to do is let it cool down for a nice, good couple 20 to 30 minutes. Then we're gonna share it out. So, first of all, you need to make it cool down first, then you can cut it. So after I cool down, we're gonna cut it and shear it up to make you guys see the way it look on the plate. Enjoy the recipe. 25 minutes, a little bit of burn around the edges, but you know these things do happen sometimes when you're baking or do pastry or anything, these things do happen. So guys, hopefully you will enjoy the recipe and 
leave your comments and this is a tomato and cheese quiche well, hopefully you can make a roast vegetable one for you so that you guys can enjoy them thank you so much for watching my cooking program and what we're gonna do next we're gonna cut it and share it up enjoy the recipe and see you in a bit nice and lovely so what we're gonna do though basically we want to try and cut the quiche because this is something guys looking lovely and nice so we're gonna try and cut a nice lovely fat chunk of the quiche out of it the most important thing is to make the quiche cool on first before you start to do anything with it guys because when you cook a quiche when it act what it do is start to crumble as you can see sorry about that looking lovely and nice so as you can see exactly what I'm doing right here nice one that's the quiche guys beautiful um, basically what we're gonna do now is serve it with a nice lovely leaf at the side so hopefully you will enjoy the recipe and subscribe to the YouTube channel thank you so much for watching Chef Ricardo cooking program we've got a lot more recipe like this coming up for you guys so as you can see cheese and tomato quiche from Chef Ricardo today enjoy the recipe and see you